Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Force Through the Rush. Game has been updated. So what's changed? I don't know. It's Alpha 18, balancing game flow, tons of bug fixes, Noxious Shrine, and tons of new improvements. So, today's patch brings a lot of fixes and balancing. There are two main reasons for this. Our designers have been working hard to create a more dynamic match structure. During this process, several ideas have been prototyped and scratched again. We will release a new feature. We want to feel confident that it adds something valuable to the game. And if it doesn't, we'd rather start over again. For the last month, the game has undergone massive changes. If you played it back then, you might not even remember how it was at this point anymore. All of these changes have also meant that some of the older features of the game became more unbalanced. While balancing is not a big priority during early development, it is important for us to have a feel for the difficulty and level of fun in the game, which is why balancing was prioritized higher in this update. Hopefully, it will also bring you a better gaming experience. TLDR, prototype, scratch, prototype, scratch, prototypes, and more. So, minor features. Effect improvement, light added to all enemies, light and dungeon world revoked, uh, god ability noxious shrine has been implemented, updated feedback and deck creation, uh, reworked treasure goblin so it starts close to you and immediately gets aggroed. Okay, balances and changes. Eight arenas per match. Matches now start at a tougher difficulty and in increase from there. Balance overhaul. Some stats like attack speed, were overpriced on cards. Max health was made more expensive. Fair. A huge number of cards have been rebalanced. We've particularly tried making underused cards, i.e. mana consumables and situational cards, more attractive. We may have gone too far with a few of them. Let us know on the forums if you spot anything that seemed broken or good. Okay. Uh, Faustian Deal changed from 5% max health to 3% current health. Thank God! That is such a good, that's such a good change. I hated Faustian Deal. Trinket Hate, increased from 5 to 15 Wrath on Consumable Use. Angry Barrels, 5 to 10 Wrath. Makes sense. Greed Hurts. Oh, thank you. So Greed Hurts now makes it so coins last longer and silence you for two seconds. They just fixed my two major complaints from the previous patch. Two Pristine for Upgrades reworked. Playing an upgrade card permanently increases the boss starting wrath by 5. Spell shield revo uh, reworked. Playing a spell card permanently increases the boss starting wrath by 10. Uh, consumable shield reworked. Uh, consumable card permanently increases the boss starting wrath by 10. Man attacks removed. Uh, and then a bunch of bug fixes, which are Demon Lord Rank 2, Movement Fixes, Fire Lord Skinning Refix, Novarat Mesh Fix, Health Globe Fix, Damage War Fix, Curing Hero Dead Phase Immunity, Spinning Sacrifice No Longer Rewrites, uh, damage from Hungry Flames, phasing issue with large enemies, bounce tanks continually, deals friendly fire, you can only, you can no longer block damage from Faustian Deal, gold from Treasure Goblin now collected at the end of the arena, thank you, and uh, fixed an issue that caused music to play in the menu despite being muted. Makes sense. Okay. Now, being asked if I, I can play Ironcast at some point. Unfortunately, can't play Ironcast. Ooh. And we're going to be continuing with our run, so first before we get anywhere... Uh, let's take a look. Ooh, they've they've bolded all the numbers so it's easier to tell. That's nice. So Band of Regeneration still has not changed. Overflow has not changed. Last Stand might have gotten a bonus. Primal Instincts went up by 2%. Lucky Dice went up by 3%. Okay, that's good. Uh, doesn't look like any of those have changed. Muscle Balm is up by 5%. Muscle Lotion is up by 40%, but the price is actually still the same. Increased Blood Flow is 5 mana instead of 4 mana for only 80 health. And Heart of the Forest does not change at all. Bloodthirster has been dropped by 3 mana, uh, but also 25% damage. Honestly, that seems like a fair uh, fair change. Uh, Blood Claws is a 25% bo boost to crit, and, um, and 5 mana cost. I think that's down 1. Boots of Speed, the same. Shadow Cloak's gone up by 2%. Uh, Living Weapon. 6% damage for every card you play. That is a 4% bonus, and that's exactly what I've been looking for for the longest of times. So let's let's uh, pop in here, and let's take out one Blood Claw, and what do I not... What other things do I not need? Probably one Lucky Dice. Uh, let's throw both Living Weapons back in. We need... It's, it's really good now. Uh, moving speed when no enemies are near. That's kind of useful. Insta Bomb. It seems like these do more damage now, but I could be wrong wrong about that one. 
I still don't use consumable cards that much. Uh, let's see, Minor Heal, heals the same, Mana Boost, Shield, Fairy Bottle, Duo Bot, Potion of Blur, Hot Coffee, Pocket Shield. I, I'm just reading them off and trying to see if any of these are useful. I think Surge Flow went up by one arena, but it could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Over Overcharge. Okay, so it doesn't look like they changed too much, except for some of the base cards that I actually still used, but... I am glad that they made the changes that they made, because it seems like they're a hell of a lot better now. So, let's uh, pop in. Let's see, we don't have any gold, but now we don't have to worry about greed is good. That's all I care about. Ooh, new boss, Frank. Let's see if he's any good. Uh, now, uh, for anybody watching this that is mostly looking for the patch notes, this is going to be a little bit more Let's Play. So, there's that, but we'll, we'll see what differences we can point out as we go along. Also, as a reminder... This is all filmed in front of a live studio audience, so people will actually be asking me questions from the peanut gallery. Mana boost right off the bat. Band of Regeneration. It's perfect. So will I play Wanderlust Adventures, I'm being asked. The answer is yes. The developers promised me a copy a long time ago. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I just need to bug them again. Let's just shield up and blast these guys. Oh, yeah. Screw you, stupid ghost. And the gold, if outside of the arena, actually comes back in. Yep. Don't hit me. Um, so that's actually... I don't I've, I don't think I ever ran into a situation... Jeez, Juggernaut, ye, calm down. Um, I don't think I ever ran into an instance where that was actually a problem for me. But it is nice to know that that's there. Just in case. What is that? Is that like a fro... Oh, shit. That's the new toxic... That's the new toxic thing. I'm gonna keep, keep my distance. Oh, we're shooting the ghost there. There we go. Nice shot. Uh, well, I like what they've done thus far. Let's go with fusion power. Considering, yeah, we've 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 got a pretty good run on our hands, which I'm looking forward to. So, ow, ooh, those ghosts hurt a hell of a lot more than I thought it, thought they were going to. Then again. I wonder, I wonder if it's because they actually push you along now. Yet yeah, I feel like they've uh, rebalanced the knockback on some of these guys, which honestly makes sense. The ghost, the ghost always did like a fair amount of damage, but it never felt like it really had much of an impact. So it's kind of a nice change now. I think they might have also made my invinci invincibility a hell of a lot shorter. I could be wrong about that one. Yep. Do I not have? There we go. I am taking hits. That's probably not for the best. Hey, Monochrome Hero, how's it going? Okay, so let's go with Behold Me, right? Sort of. Behold Me is kind of hard to time. I almost wish there was like an indicator when it was useful to use Behold Me. That was a well-timed... That was Behold Me. Like, I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's like a... No, it's a good, like, noise-based cue. I want to say this is the... This is the poison shrine that they added. That was close. Unfortunately, you can't knock them back when they're. Ch uh, no, you can knock them back when they're charging you. It's just kind of harder to aim. That's not so bad. Is our juggernaut dead? Oh, he's quite dead. This is theirs. Which is less than cool because they do a lot of damage. And unfortunately, I'm stupid slow when shooting. Okay, there we go. Please give me health. Thank you. Who's even left? Just you? Sort of. Glad I got overcharged. Now... Oh, okay, these guys are actual... Does it... No, that was not the indicator. That, that was actually it telling me it was off cooldown. Because I was really hoping there was actually... Like, if there was a chime at the end of... At the end of the shield, that would actually be a really nice touch. I feel like it gave me more mana. Maybe... Maybe it upticks by two? That'd be cool. Okay, um, hmm. I guess we gotta go with uh, increased blood flow just because efficiency sake. Let's see. Oh. Just realized this is a shard race. Did not know. There we go. Perfect. I don't actually remember what shard race does. I think it's an extra card, but I could be wrong on that one. You guys get out of my arena! Mine. Not yours, and I should probably actually, like... Probably actually kind of focus on buffing it up. 
Looks like we've got one more of these random little pseudo dragon dogs. Ow. Bad dog. Bad dog. There we go. Are we done? There's something left. These guys. Okay. Looks like my companion's still alive, too. That's actually kind of a miracle. The dude is uh, su suicidal, to say the least. Okay, how much mana do I have? Five. I wonder how I got so much uh, prior. Okay. Let's see. Well, I guess we're going Reflective Shield, Muscle Balm. Do we need... We don't need the healing. And those things are... Yeah. So the Shard Race gives us the extra card, but uh, those two are too expensive. Hopefully I'll be able to pay... Get the Bloodthirster, because double damage on this guy is absurd. It's pretty useful on... Uh, it's pretty useful on Volko, but it's not as necessary. Which may or may not be... I don't know. I, I guess I feel like it's not as necessary on Volko, just because... Mobility is more important than than damage on him. Whereas this guy, I guess it's halfway useful. Interesting mana scaling. I wonder if it could, if it's one two two, maybe. Because we had two fives there for some reason. I don't know why. All right. Well, more shard race. I like what they've done. It. This is definitely kind of an invisible update. There, there's not too much to it. And I don't mind that, actually. That it... That it actually makes a lot of, a lot of like, basic balancing changes without being terribly obtrusive. But uh, some of those things were major, major enough to actually, you know, really excite me. Specifically just, you know, I haven't even checked these. Spell hate. Spell card and angry barrels. Ah. That pisses him off. <laughs> My guy just committed suicide. That is useful. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's nothing I can do. Fortunately, I have my window open, so you guys might be able to hear birds cheeping in the background. Well, let's use Minor Heal for the time being. Oh, man. But I, I am happy with what they've done. Let's grab the money. Actually, no. But a boom That is satisfying, to say the least. Do we have a... Nope, we just have rock dudes. Take these guys out. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a, there's a summoned rock, dude. I was wondering, it's like, why? What? This must be the new, to new toxic thing. Does this do damage? Can I not? I guess we'll harm it that way. And companion is still dead. Right, I forgot. Breaking barrels increases wrath. Who cares? I'm indomitable. Perfect. And yeah, birdie's chirping. It is, uh... Boots of speed, yes. Okay, this is working out great for me. And yeah, if we had if we had one of those living weapons, we'd have. I don't actually know how many cards we've currently used. Perfect. Triple perfect. I kind of wish there was like nickels and dimes almost with the coins, where like sometimes they were like really hard to get ones, or they're tiny or very short lived, so you have to like really bum rush for them. But it's like a nice risk reward system. That would be cool. Alright, so we've got the Bloodthirster. We've got Blood Claws. Probably could have bought Heart of the Forest, but who cares? I got I've still got one more arena along the way. And I bumped the table. Nope. The new changes, the new rebalancing, the new prices. Mmm. They have made They have made for a happy Wanderbot, which is exactly what I'm looking for here. Alright, let's just plonk them down. Does that always explode now, or is that... Did I accidentally get a different move than I thought I had? Let's take out the arenas. Sup? Oh, you know what? I'm probably busting up barrels of plenty, so he's just furious at me. That's what's going on here. Well, that ain't changing. That ain't changing. Yeah, it, it gives, like, different mana amounts for some reason. Do I even want to double my damage? Nah. Or not damage, my health. Does not... Does not affect me. Does not bother me. Don't care. Oh, he is ugly. Oh, shit. Does he... He comes with the... Oh, shit. He's he's that guy. He's a combination of a missile... Uh, a mi One of those, like, missile dudes. And a... He's a combination of a missile dude. And a... And a laser cart. Oh, that's actually kind of terrifying. 
my my some of my least favorite unit types in one creature. That said, I do a lot of damage. So I'm not terribly concerned about this. But he could be horrifying in the right situations. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up a whole lot of money there, come to think of it. That's a shame. Well, what upgrades can we afford? The answer is none of them. Any of these particularly useful? Companion does more damage. 10% Ten, to do more damage. Consumable. Attacker takes damage. Start with extra mana. Nah, we're just going to save it. All right. Well, we've only got three. So now that we've figured, fought these guys, let's fight Raph. He's a little bit easier. Uh, but you know what? Actually, before we go anywhere, I think that's actually a really good place to stop as far as the update video goes. I think that's, as far as I can tell, the extent of changes that have been made to Force 2 The Rush. Uh, overall impressions of the patch, pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with what the devs have done. And I'm looking forward to what they do with uh, Patch Aid 19. I'm really hoping they actually let us have at the uh, the other characters, though. Because, you know what? As much as I like Volko, and as much as I like the Squire of Light, I would like to actually play, play some of them again. But, you know what? Patience is a virtue. Shame I don't have it. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Force Through the Rush, and or update video, depending on what you're looking for. And as always, thanks for watching.